um, and really cool little snakes. That's a lifer for me, so I'm really happy about that. Was uh, of the list of things I was hoping to see, this was not what I was expecting to see. <laughs> that makes sense. So happy about that, but this is really cool. Thank you guys. Look at this guy. <clears throat> what species are you? I have no idea. Pretty. Look at all that algae on his back, too. Looks like an adult male. Whatever it is. Guys, I found a skunk. No way! I've never seen a skunk before. A lot of first times for me in uh, Texas, apparently. That's so cool. He's gone. So cool to see, though. Never seen one, and that's a massive cockroach. What is up with this place and cockroaches? I thought Florida was bad, but I've been seeing a lot here. Um. Why? 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 That is not okay. I thought I smelled a skunk and then boom, skunk. I'm at a new area of this creek I've been working on the last couple of days because I've been seeing a lot here and it's been paying off, but I'm gonna walk this little dam area here. This is a new dam, not the dam we've been looking at and just see what we can find. All right, so nothing too crazy, but I did find this little fishing spider. This is the species that hangs out on top of the water and basically hunts for fish. And they'll grab them and bring them up out of the water, paralyze them, and then eat them. Some kind of weird little worms coming out of the water right there. And look at the size of that wolf spider. That's a big wolf. Um, some kind of either Hogna or potentially Tigrosa. But that's a, I know it's hard to tell from here. It's a pretty large wolf. A lot of life here. I got a feeling there's gonna be some snakes too because, well, there's everything else, including fish. Some of their favorite food. This is actually really neat. There's some baby catfish hanging out. This little tiny thing here. Tiny, tiny little catfish. Yeah, you can see them right there. I don't know what species. Probably channel. Baby channel or blue or gold cap. Oh, that's a water snake. What species is that? That is another phone belly. Hanging out in the current. He was actually sitting up here and then I scared him when I walked. What are you doing with it, dude? Why are you out of the water? It's not like you. It's not like you to pinch me either. Here, I'll put you back in. Alright guys, so after those plain bellies, we hadn't seen much, I came across another skunk or two, and then I'm walking down the sidewalk here, I look down, I see something shiny, and it's this little guy right here. If you're wondering what this is, this is called a, I believe this is a Texas blind snake. This is completely, I've never seen one of these before, in person, only pictures. Really cool, it's kind of like a bigger prettier Brahmini blind snake and uh, this is awesome really happy to see this guy here he's just hanging out I hope there's nothing wrong with him he's hanging out on the pavement you usually don't see them because they live under the ground but after rains and such they will sometimes come up out of the ground and that's when people see them they're so tiny that they have to hunt things like ants and termites I believe um, and really cool little snakes 
that's a lifer for me so i'm really happy about that was uh, of the list of things i was hoping to see this was not what i was expecting to see <laughs> if that makes sense so happy about that but this is really cool just wanted to give you guys a quick look at them and then i'm gonna let them go here in the grass uh, i'm gonna grab a couple more pictures and then we will let this little worm of a snake go what's going on guys so if you can't tell i may or may not have gotten a haircut sarah forced me to and uh today we're in killeen i think it's pronounced uh texas and pretty much the middle of nowhere um there are a lot of cool species of snakes here just you know you know looking up uh sightings and whatnot on inet and a lot of passionate snakes, which is something I would love to see. Coach whips, of course. I've never seen a western coach whip in person. You know, the usual suspects, rough earth snake, rough green snake. Uh, there's ring neck, there's really pretty ring neck snakes here. I'm not exactly sure of the subspecies, but. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna get her car, because yes, that's the main reason we're here. And then we're gonna maybe look around a little bit, see if we can find any of the you know herbs in this area and of course if i see anything i will get back to you guys and let you know how it's going what's going on guys so tonight i'm hanging out in a new creek for me right behind a walmart and there's a lot of cool water snake sightings here um ribbon snakes you know the usual suspects so show you guys what this little creek looks like very small but full of life i already see crayfish minnows frogs there's a lot going on here so i'm gonna keep looking and of course if i find anything you guys will be the first to know here's a look at this creek that i'm looking in right now i mean i'm standing in the middle of it it's not very wide that's it and that that's all of it but Remains to be seen if there is any animals in here. I'm sure there are, so we're gonna keep looking. There's fireflies all over the place up here. It's like a group of young raccoons right there just kind of cruising along the pond bank but uh another local area we've been mostly doing just exploring near the house and coming to some of these different ponds to see if i can't find snakes I've had pretty good luck so far definitely some good diversity around here there's a lot of frog I don't know if these are southern leopards, because um, I mean, I am in Texas now. I'd be interested to see if these are also southerns or different variety. Let's see if we can't spot uh, some waters or maybe ribbon snakes. Alright guys, so I thought that Carolina wolf spider was big, but then I saw a lot. Dear Lord, that is a giant, giant fishing spider. I'm um, not sure of the species to be honest. Okie Fumokis are supposed to be the largest species of fishing spider, but um, that's a monster, and Okie Pinocchies do not range into Texas, to my understanding. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get down here and get a closer look at it, but, I mean, that's, that's a four-inch spider, easily, maybe longer. I'm gonna take a 
you guys can see this is a dark fishing spider. Uh, Dole needs tenebrosis. I mean, it's huge. I don't even want to get near it because I know how fast they are. They are not harmful by any means, but I'd still rather not get bit. And they, they move extremely quick. But I will take a branch and see what happens. Sorry, I'm getting bent up by mosquitoes right now. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. That is insane. That is a huge spider. Wow. Guys, I cannot make this stuff up. I'm sitting here looking at the water, looking for these giant spiders. I look over and this big female diamondback water snake just cruises up these steps right up next to me. About to go up this wall. It's good size. Literally right here, she just came right up these steps. And now she's hanging out. Wow. It's a gorgeous animal. I'm worried about grabbing her. She's definitely gonna bite me. Ooh. Hi. Hi. No. There she goes. Oh, too cool. I've been looking around, looking around, I'm like, man, where are all these snakes at? And then she just pops up out of nowhere. It's crazy how herping works, ain't it? That's a massive wolf spider. Wow. It's actually insane how big these spiders are around here. Uh, this is a Carolina wolf spider, the largest wolf spider in the United States. And that's a nice one. I think that's a... I want to say that's a mature male. It's gorgeous. 